same way? Is that what it's like for you? Will you change anything? Will you do anything special ahead of this match? No, I think that's spot on, to be honest. Um, since the, the other night against Cardiff, after that, it's been uh, recovery and preparation for this game, obviously. It's, um, there's no getting away from it. It's, it's a huge game. Um, but we, why would you change anything? We've got to where we are now. We're doing the same thing, pairing the same way. Just on exactly the same uh, going into this one. Um, you seem to have had a really impressive season with Fulham. Um, what has it been like working with Scott Parker? He, he, of course, wasn't too bad of a midfielder himself. What's the biggest th thing that you think you've learned from him? Uh, just every day, sort of speaking to him, having conversations, and like you said, learning exactly what and listening to exactly what he says. He um, his knowledge of the position that I play, um, and obviously, like you said, the career that he had. I've just leaned on him all season and listen to him going into games and training every day and um, I mean if I was to come here and not learn anything from a midfielder like him then it would have been a bit of a disaster so uh, it's been great for me this season working alongside and working underneath him um, and I've learned a lot yeah. Your particular role isn't you know the most glamorous um, it's quite nitty-gritty um, I mean when you were growing up as, as a young boy playing in the Southampton Academy did you dream of being this kind of player or is it just kind of happened? Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't a dream. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, it's the kind of player that I've grown into. Um, I think I've said previously that uh, as a young, per a young, a young player, um, I used to have reflect on games with my dad in the car journeys back, and he always used to say my best games were when I was working harder than anyone else on the pitch and, and never giving up and fighting for every ball. And, and then uh, my, my, the rest of my performance, that's something that's always stuck in my head. And, uh, going into every game, I know that I've got to do the basics first and, and then let the quality come through after that. Now, considering the impressive season that you've had, you've obviously enjoyed working with Scott Parker. Where would you want to be playing your football next season? Um, good question. Uh, in the Premier League, ideally. With, um, and I, it's, a, it's not a question I can give a straight answer to. Right now. Um, my full focus is on getting put into the Premier League and if I can do that, then. And that would be an amazing achievement for the, for the club and for me also as a player. Fair enough. Uh, and just finally, um, Harrison, what you know, you've had a lot of ups and downs in your career. You had to move away from Southampton. You've been on loan for quite a few years now. But how highly does tomorrow rank in your career playing at Wembley in a playoff final? Yeah, it's right up there. It's, it's going to be the most important game in my career. Um, and I'm just looking forward to it. I've worked all all my career to get to to, Wem to play at Wembley. I've never played there. Um, I've, I've had friends play there and speak to them and now finally it's going to be my chance to, to experience that and um, I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully we come away with, with the win and I'm really a promotion to the Premier League. Oh, best of luck, Harrison. Good luck. Thank you very much, Jess. Thank you, Jessica. If you mind going on mute, we'll carry on with broadcast media. We have James Savundra. Would you like to ask a question to Harrison, please? Hi, Harrison. How are you doing? Hi, Jane. Good yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Harrison, you joined the club last summer and it was a club that had just been relegated from the Premier League. I wonder how much the mood and the atmosphere has changed at the club and, and how you've seen that change over the course of this season. Um, I wouldn't say too much. The, the atmosphere and the environment which I came, came into um, probably a year ago now was, was one of real positivity and um, ambition. To, to bounce straight back into the Premier League and um, it's the hard work we've done for these 12 months that have give, given us the opportunity to have a one game um, shootout with Brentford and uh, to take us back to, a, to, a, to where we want to be and what was our target at the beginning of the season. A certain Brentford player said that Fulham will be fearing Brentford because of the two results you've had against them so far this season. Is that the way you're feeling about it? Not at all. Um, we're ready. Um, we're prepared. Um, we're going into the game full of confidence. We've been on a great run of, of late. Um, the game the other day against Cardiff was a hard-fought game. It was what we expected and we got the job done in the end. Um, so we're going into this game full of confidence. Um, and we know we turn up on the day um, we can get the job done. Has confidence taken too much for not following that Cardiff performance, albeit the fact you qualified for the playoff final, but didn't probably get the result or the performance you really wanted? No, I think we, we can take confidence from the game. It was a different game to the first leg um, 
and we had to stand up and fight. Yeah, we we had uh, we conceded early and we just, uh, bounced straight back and got another goal back. And then to concede just after half time was a, was a blow for us, but it was a war we found ourselves in and to come out the the game and um, through the semis into the final. We can take uh, a lot of confidence from the, the performance and the grit that we showed. And a lot of this squad did play in the playoff final two years ago. I know it's going to be very different at Wembley tomorrow night, but do you think you can use that to your advantage? Do you think that helps at all that this squad have played at Wembley recently? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've, got, we've got lads that have experienced it, have been there with the pressure, um, and, they've got, and they've got the job done. So we can, we can certainly use that to our advantage. Um, we've, we've, we've shown that when the pressure's on us, we can stand up and, and perform and uh, get the result that's required. And we're full of, uh, full of confidence that we can go into, into Tuesday and do that. How's Alexander Mitrovic looked in training over the last couple of days? Do you reckon he'll be all right to play? And, and what have you made of him from, from playing alongside him this season? Because he's had a, another brilliant season for Fulham. Yeah, he's, he's great. It's great, great to have him back training with the lads now. Um, he's obviously picked up the injury in the last day and um, he's targeted this game, I suppose, to, to be back fit. And he's been training the last couple of days, which is great. Um, and what a player he's been for us this season to... To see him work off the pitch um, and reap the rewards on the pitch um, is something that's inspirational to, to everyone in the, at, the, at, the, at the club because the uh, the amount of hours he puts in in the gym and, and on the training ground, um, there's no surprise that he's, he's won the golden boot this season. And just finally for me, have you had many conversations with Ralph Hassanhutl over the last few weeks? I hear that he wants to have a look at you in, in pre-season training ahead of next season. No, I haven't had any contact. Um, I guess he's, he's letting me focus on the game and um, that's fine. There'll be conversations after um, and during the break um, about the future and things like that, but um, I've had no contact and um, I'm, I'm fine with that. That's, that's um, it can allow me to focus on getting the job done here at Fulham. Thanks, Harrison. All the best. Cheers, James. Thank you, James. Uh, we're still going to continue with broadcast. So we have BBC London. Um, Rob or Emma, please. Hello, hopefully you can hear me, Harrison. Yeah, I've got you. Um, I think the sort of postponement of the games helped you out, didn't it? Because you had that injury. Um, is, it, has it sort of helped the, the fact that there was the postponement has allowed you to kind of see out this season with Fulham? Yeah, I think um, probably one of the only players that it came at a good time for because I was just um, sort of getting back to full fitness and maybe the injury wasn't quite uh, 100%. So certainly the... The postponement of the games allowed me to to really nail down the, the weaknesses that were in my body and focus on strengthening them. And I've done everything in my power to come back and hit the ground running. And, um, and yeah, it's, like you said, it was it was a, a good time for me to to really focus on the areas that I needed to improve on um, and come back um, sharp and ready. You said that you haven't played at Wembley. This will be a dream for you, but what a shame that there won't be supporters there tomorrow night yeah I think it's a real shame especially it would have been a, a local derby as well the atmosphere would have been incredible um, but it's been the same since since lockdown since it restarted and uh, it's something that we've come to get used to and it hasn't affected the performance on the pitch at all it's um, something that that we've got used to um, and now it's, it's time for us to, to go to go there on, on Tuesday and make sure our fans are the ones that at the end of it are celebrating have you done any particular sort of mental preparations for being playing such a big game without the fans being there? Because, for instance, I spoke to Gareth Ainsworth before Wickham went to Wembley, and he said they had a mountaineer who went in and talked about the loneliness of trying to reach Everest. Um, I just wondered if you had had anything similar to that as a team. We haven't. Um, we know it's a big game, and we know the pressures of the game, and that's that's what we're we're used to as, as professional athletes and footballers and. Um, we're going into this game with the same mentality as any game to go and win the game. Are you the underdogs, considering Brentford have beaten you home and away this season and you haven't managed to score a goal against them in those matches? Uh, you can call us underdogs, you can call us favourites, you can call them favourites, it doesn't really matter. It's uh, what's happened in, earlier on in the season, it's one game now. Um, it's who turns up on the day and performs the best. Um, and we're full of confidence that we can do that. I know that you know, having been at Fulham only a small amount of time, you will be aware of what it means to their fans. You also, I'm sure, be aware of what it would mean for them to beat Brentford as well because of that rivalry. 
yeah, I'm fully aware. Um, we know that we're carrying that on our shoulders. Um, and we want to do it for our fans, we want to do it for the club. Um, since since I came to the club, there's, there's been rivalries and um, every game you play for the fans, but we know these ones mean a little bit extra to them. And it does to us as players too. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Emma. Um, I think that's it on broadcast and less press association of filming. Are there any more broadcast questions before we move to the written press?